Yeah. The match against uh, Austria was uh, with mixed emotions. First time at Euro, you have a draw at uh, 75 minutes of the match. Uh, did, did this match, uh, how much did the match uh, was uh, gathering was, uh, on your emotions? And uh, it makes a problem to the match uh, against uh, Austria or against uh, Ukraine. Okay. Your f- uh, emotivnost is prasnet. Postoje to je napred vrstu Austrije, zato što će kuvavce nebi nešto se smući nešto u poslednjite minuti. Da li to je malo emotivno praznenje? Može bi razočarovanje od napred vrstu Austrije, može da vlije vrstu napred vrstu Ukrajine? Of course, we, we play, how I say, always before uh, the thing at 70-75 minutes, we was in the game, but this is the football, you can receive it even in the 90 minutes ago, and uh, then you can say we was not ready till the end. Um, but this is good that happened in the first game. We need to be ready now. It's not to make it down now because we was still the 75, we can draw it. And after we see two goals straight then we lose the concentration. Of course, it was important to don't take the third goal because on the end it can be uh, dangerous with the, when you want to go to, to the group with the goals. There we need to be more focused, there I will say uh, this we need to manage it, we don't need to lose the emo- emotion there, we don't need to give up, uh, we need still to fight. Uh, this was for me uh, maybe a point, but uh, the 2-1 is, is football, can happen. And, uh, but we learn, we will learn about this, we, we're going to prepare the game now, Ukraine, and to try to, to avoid this mistake that we did it. Последно прашање, второ од мене. Uh, колко е полесно или потешко? Имаш големо искуство, много тешки надпревари. Што е полесно да си игра? Надпревар во кој што мораш да победиш? Затоа што овој надпревар е токму таков против Украина. Што е полесно или потешко да се одиграва во знат? So what's more, uh, what's easier or more difficult? Uh, is it easier or more difficult to play a game where you absolutely know you have to win? I'm saying this uh, because uh, we have the situation for the match against Ukraine. Must win situation. Must win situation. You don't have an easy game. Every game is hard to win. So to win a game, you need to be really a hard worker and to to deserve the game you need and to win it, it's, it's hard. So my opinion is the uh, the, the important games it makes is just in the head more uh, more harder and uh, more complicated or more that you're gonna get maybe panic or nervous because you're gonna think if you lose what happened if you win we go through and important is that the player need to avoid this to don't think this in their mind we need to take this like a it's an important game it's hard to win even Austria we wanted to win is was also for us, we went there, we wanted to win. So every game that we play, we want to win. So it's not now, it's harder to win this game because it's Ukraine or it's already second game and if we lose, it's finished. It's not harder, even the first game is was hard. So even the third game, if we lose this, it's gonna be hard. You don't need the third game, maybe we have still chances to go through the group because the third best can go. So everything is possible. So uh, every game in this group is hard and we are not the favorite in this group. So we need, every game is for us a final. And one final we need to win to, to, to have more dreams. So just we need to be more focused and uh, to be calm without uh, panic and to, to don't think it's uh, the biggest final. Like we say now it's a final, but every game is a final for us, uh, three games. Uh, one final we lose, we have still two finals. Uh, the question is, what do you expect from the match against Ukraine? How much did the match against Austria exhaust you? And are you uh, ready to give your maximum at the match against Ukraine? First of all, we are, of course, proud. This is important for the players that they was proud to play the game against Austria. And of course, the result uh, was not for us, but uh, the... Um, it's important that uh, we're gonna recover us really fast because the, we have not a, lo- a lot of time to to uh, 
to recover and uh, it's not good to, to enjoy the days, to recover and uh, to have fun still because it's still nothing over and we are preparing us now for Ukraine and uh, we're going to analyze them, we know what we, uh, what we did in the first game, so the mistakes that we did, we need to, uh, to do it better and uh, we're going to prepare us because it's going to be like a final for us, the Ukraine game, it uh, depends everything on us, on them, so it's going to be a very special game for, for both, uh, both teams, we have both zero points, and, uh, but who wins, have a lot of chances to go, to go through the group. We have two questions. Uh, first is, uh, there were a lot of speculations about uh, what Darno Mutovic told you on, on, the, on that match uh, against Austria. He was also apologizing a couple of times. Um, so I would like to know what were the exact words he told you. Uh, we also saw that the Football Federation of Macedonia uh, sent a protest note uh, uh, for his behavior. So what was it he actually said? And the, uh, the second question is, uh, what should we uh, correct in our game against Ukraine uh, in order to win that game? So we go for the first question. Um, we had some arguments together during the game that I think is uh, it's a normal thing, you know, so it's nothing, uh, how to say, it's nothing, uh, something wrong that uh, we are shouting, we have some arguments during the game, but the best thing is on after the game that uh, we, we, we speak together, we, we shake the hands, the problem was just when he scored and uh, he was shouting something, to me, and uh, I can say if I don't hear it, I can say what he said to me. So, to UEFA, everybody they have the videos, they can see the video, and it depends on them what they see, if they understand it, if they don't understand it. But I can say because uh, I heard him maybe in the game, it was difficult to hear for me what he said. But uh, for me, it was important that I had uh, after the game an uh, argument with him. We we spoke, but uh, the the other thing is depends on UEFA. On the federation, what the how how long they go through go through to, to them because it's everything the, uh, on the video of when he scored the goal. And this is I think there is the problem why every people is speaking now about this. What we were speaking during the game, nobody cares, and this is a normal situation in each uh, each game. You have in each game always arguments but I think the problem like I said is in the video that uh, everybody is now thinking what wh why he said this and what he said and we will see so I don't know and uh, the next question is about Ukraine um, is uh, we need to be just Macedonia how we play just every game we need to uh, to play with uh, with our power that we have, we uh, we need to play our uh, our football like we show always before. So it doesn't uh, matter now. We lost the game three one on them. So when we watch the game, uh, like seventy minutes, seventy five minutes, how we play was really good at this at this moment for us. And uh, it's just the second goal that kill us. So sorry uh, that make us uh, to to lose the game. Then we receive three one. So we need to play like. Uh, like Austria, we need to go to the game just to to uh, to believe on us more in the attack. So we need uh, to be more uh, powerful. We need uh, to believe on us that we have the quality to do to win this game because this is the big game for us and to dream. It's too late after the game to say why we didn't win or why we didn't do this. So um, the game against Ukraine is the is a big final for us to dream uh, more to go through the group. So when we have this game, it's just focus on the game, not what happened now if we win to Holland. So it's just to focus on the Ukraine game and then we go uh, for the next. But uh, the guys, they need to believe because we, we have this quality to, to get something. Znači, predse, 
presrekjen sem, što, što imam možnost, da, da bi dam delo do ovoj tim, ne, na ovo evropsko prvesno, historijsko je sepak. Uh, Znači, atmosferata je odlična. Na Makedonija se navodi na prvo evropsko prvenstvo. Mogu je normalno da, da ima euforija. Sice sme srekni, sice sme veseli, uh, no ejte na trening kogaš je normalno, postoji ta koncentracija. Seka sme na visoko nivo i se nadjavamo da to tako ki ostane. Za, za mojot nastav protiv Ukrajina me prašavte, možem da vi kažem deka jaz lično verujem v mojte kvaliteti i spremen sem v vseko je vreme, da, da pomognem na ekipata da dojde do, tri, do tije tri boda. Dali ki, dali ki dobijam šansa, to ne ostanova na mene. Jaz sem spremen v vseko je moment in kako što kažem, verujem v mojte kvaliteti in znam deka bi možel da bilo dobra pomoč na ekipata v bilo koje vreme. Uh, the question is, uh, you received a call up for the Euro. Uh, so, how is the atmosphere in the team? And how important it is for young players like yourself to be part of such a big tournament? And at the end, uh, will we see you at the match against Ukraine? The answer is, I'm very happy that I'm part of this uh, team and part of this historical appearance of uh, the Macedonian national team at the Euro. The atmosphere is great, it's eu euphoric, we are very happy to be here. Of course, uh, we are very concentrated at the training se sessions and the training sessions have been uh, conducted on a very, very high level. Uh, as for the match against U Ukraine, what I can say is that I'm absolutely ready and prepared to help the team. I know I have the qualities to help the team uh, come to those very important three points, but uh, if I'm going to start or if I'm going to play at the match, it doesn't depend on me, it's a decision of the national coach. What I can say is that I'm ready to help the team at any time. Najmladijot debitant v istorijeta na makedonskijot futbol postigna gol i si meju najmladijote strelci v dresot na makedonskata reprezentacija. Na ovo evropsko prvenstvo najvozrasnije po nacionalnije tim do postigna pogodokat, Goran Pandev. Može li najmladijot povtorno da bideš strelec za Makedonija na Evropskoto prvenstvo ti? I da li Darko Čurlinov može da bide Amelijata na Makedonskata reprezentacija na ovo evropsko prvenstvo? Jaz sem mnogo grb na, na faktor poradi koji što sem najmlađa debitant po istorijo na Makedonije i to me pravi mnogo sreten. Um, ovo je futbol. Nikoč ne se, ne se, ne se zna što će se desiti, vse koji se nadeva na to. Na kraj krajeva ne je bitno koji je dade gol, bitno je da te pa mu tehnica da. Jaz ako možem da go dadam gol, to ne bi, to ne bi dam. Ama, najiskreno, uh, mojeto razmislovanje je deka, normalno vse koji igrač bi sakal da postigne gol na, na evropsko, no da se povedi v tehnica, da je mnogo povedno. I, ako možem jaz da bi dam to, što bi trebalo da postigne gol, Normal, kaj da vam bude.